okay, what you just saw, I spent all night tweaking so that this can be done in a professional workflow where footage gets sent to color and to sound. In a lot of these services, you have to do this on a single clip. I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to get back to a timeline like this where my original audio files are there and my original footage rather than just doing this on a single clip. Right here, we have a 51 minute timeline and this is for a video about ISO, which I am working on and will be posting after this. And I will use this to begin the edit on that video. So you're gonna see that happen live right now. I want all these gaps removed. I have two cameras and two audio tracks, a boom and a lav, and I want the gaps all removed. For interviews and for YouTube videos, this process is particularly annoying. To be able to remove all these gaps with a couple clicks is incredible. We'll see what this process turns this 50 minute timeline into. This I have titled 00. This is our baseline. And this is just the two cameras and the two mics synced. I'm gonna duplicate this and call it a one. And we have this backup here that we can always go back to. I am going to nest our footage and I am going to render out this timeline just as a WAV file, which is necessary to do this process, but we will eventually get back to having our original audio here so we can stick with a professional workflow if it ever needs to be sent out to a sound team through an OMF. So I'm gonna render out our audio file and keep the same title as our timeline, and these are the settings, but they don't quite matter because this is just a temporary file. You can see all the tests that I did here last night. But um, anyways, I'm gonna bring that audio file back in and replace what is there. I am then going to go to this silence remover extension and I will show you how to get that in here. So I'm gonna bring in the audio file that we just made into here. And after a second or two, it will show you an indication of where the cuts are. Removing these gaps is the goal. So I'm gonna zoom in here. And for my YouTube videos, I want them to be as quick as possible. And I'll use this process on this video that I'm recording right now. I want this gap removed and that gap removed and all these gaps in here because I want it to move quickly. So I will keep the noise level the same and I will reduce the minimum time until I start seeing cut indications in here. So I'm just gonna click down and you can see that it's increasing how many times it's gonna cut, but I still want these gone. This has a thousand cuts and it's a 50 minute timeline. So I'm gonna just reduce it a little bit to try to get around 500, even though it's not gonna remove that little gap, but that's okay. So there's 580 one that is fine for me for now it's hard to see on here but this is cutting very close to when I was speaking so I'm gonna offset by adding milliseconds before and after where it detects a cut so you can see it moving when we go from 20 to 30 the markers move out and I like when I see it move twice and it's been around a hundred now we are ready I am going to say remove silence and remember we have our OO backup timeline here so have no worries and this is the magic button that I'm gonna click and sit back while this saves me hours. I'm gonna put my mouse where I think this is gonna stop. I am, of course, cheating a little bit because I have tested this, but we'll see how close it gets to that. Oh, not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of this and we can move on to the next step. Because I've nested things, inside of this nest are our two video clips and inside of this nest is the same nest. Some process that this does for some reason makes this the same nest, but that's actually what we want. So I will go back to our original and copy our mics, go into the nest, and I will paste our mics in here. And we see that everything has been trimmed. When I'm editing, I trim these gaps right here. And if you remember, we had it cut like 500 times instead of the thousand, but you can dial it in so that it cuts out even these little gaps, which are not horrible, but. In 20, 21, 22. Just me counting uh, out time code for sync. So we have a 28 minute timeline. Our original timeline was 51 minutes, 581 cuts. If I clicked Command K as fast as I could 581 times without moving the mouse or watching any footage, it would probably take longer than what this just did. So now we have something that we can work with, but I work in a traditional workflow, edit in Premiere, send to DaVinci Resolve for color and send out the OMF to sound. I don't send out the sound on YouTube videos yet, 
but if you have it going to color and going to sound, you need to make sure this workflow works for multiple teams working on the project and getting their XMLs and OMFs. So now we will move this back to having our original mics in the timeline and our original footage in the timeline so we can work in a standard professional workflow. I have two tracks of audio and two tracks of video. The first thing I'm gonna do is make this nested sequence a multicam, multi-camera enable, and I am going to duplicate this and select camera two, and we have our A and B cam. I'm gonna do the same thing with the audio. I am going to multicam enable and duplicate, multicam flatten. So now we have our boom audio, and for some reason in audio, this doesn't seem to be working as much, but I'm gonna just, so that goes to lav, but when I flatten, it brings me the boom, but we already have the boom. So I am going to go into our nested sequence and remove the boom, and we can command exit so we can cut it, so we can add it back in later if we want. So now we have the lav in here, and I am going to multicam flatten, and we have our boom and our lav, and I'm gonna flatten this again, right click, Multicam flatten, we have our Alexa footage and multicam flatten. So now we have a timeline that is the same as where we started, but it's way shorter with all the gaps removed. So now I have my controversial coming soon ISO video partially edited while also making this YouTube video, which is kind of like an interconnected weird thing, but 51 minute timeline to 28 minute timeline in a few clicks of a button. And that is awesome. All right. so. I forgot to show you how to get this extension. So you're gonna go to aescripts.com and I think I searched silence, silence remover. Um, it's 50 bucks, but there's a 10 day trial. I honestly forgot it was $50. So, so I'm gonna go in here, license type, try, and it downloads this zip and there's an installation guide where you download the installer and then you drag this file into the installer and do this with Premiere closed or close Premiere after you do this. And then when you reopen Premiere, you will see window extensions, silence remover, and it takes like one second to show up and has a little bit of a weird UI, but that is how you do it. Okay. I am out of here. Peace.